Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to story mode. I missed you. It's been one day. I don't know why I said that. Welcome back, though. We're going to play the second half of this game. Rechain of Memories Part 2. We've completed Sora's run through Castle Oblivion, but little did we know this entire time, Riku was in Castle Oblivion as well, having his own little journey. And that is the journey we are going to start experiencing today. So, let's not waste time, let's just go. Riku, beginner, please. And on. Yep, good. Let's go! Where am I? Stay asleep. Huh? Who's there? You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Uh, huh? The king! Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or, maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... What's this? It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this. The truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There is no return to the security of sleep. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Uh. Uh. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> I love what they've done with the place. So full of color. A door to the truth, huh? All right. Welcome to Riku's story, everybody. Yes, indeed. So Riku's story, uh, Riku's half of this game functions pretty differently from uh, Sora's. I guess not radically differently, but it does. There are some differences. For one, uh, combat is quite different for Riku, and we'll get into that later once we start actually fighting. Uh, for two, Riku kind of goes through the castle in a different order, and I think if my memory is serving me well, that he spends a lot less time interacting with Disney characters as he goes through these Disney worlds. So I expect we're going to be kind of burning through this, uh, the story of this a lot, and we're probably going to be editing even more aggressively than we did in Sora's story. So let's just, like, move this along at a nice, brisk clip, if we can. Since we've kind of already seen a lot of this stuff before. Anyway. Oh, actually, first, before we do anything, let me fix up some camera nonsense for my own sake and yours. Let's move on. Ah, so we start in Hollow Bastion. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I remember that Riku's story involves him going through the castle kind of in reverse, like he starts at the top and works his way down. I don't know if I'm right. That's just something that I feel like I remember. I might be wrong. Let's find out together.
This is Hollow Bastion. What you see is not real. It is the world of your memory. My memory? The thing you remember from your time at Maleficent's castle became a card, and that card made this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I gonna learn something? Maybe meet someone? You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, I'm asking you a question! Fine. But it had better be you I run across next, voice. And thus our journey begins. Here we go! Back in Hollow Bastion and back through all the generic card-generated rooms. So yeah, we're probably going to be uh, skipping through a lot of this. But first, let's talk about how Riku plays. Because it is definitely different than Sora. So Riku's cards, as you can see, are a bit different. They are modeled after his sword, for one thing. And uh, they're going to continue to be that for the entire playthrough. Unlike in Sora's playthrough, with Riku, you cannot customize your deck. What you are given is what you have, and you gotta make do with that. Which in some ways makes this a lot simpler, like there's a less that you gotta worry about, less you gotta customize and figure out. You can just get in there and fight. But it also means that I can't build myself a ridiculous deck to just kind of uh, easy mode my way through a lot of these battles. So... Not gonna be able to cheese through stuff quite so well. Also, you level up in different ways. So, like, we can raise Riku's HP, which is the same as Sora. Instead of raising CP, because, again, we can't build decks, we can just boost his attack, uh, his AP, which, that's kind of nice. And the third one, Darkness Boost, DP, is not something that we have access to yet, and I don't think we're gonna have access to that for a little bit, so... Let's just take the attack boosts when we can get them. Yeah, like, I don't think we can do... We can review his deck. Riku cannot customize his card deck. He must fight with the provided deck. Yep. The cards in the deck will change as Riku advances through the game. Yes, indeed. So, that's different. What's the report? That's something I should have been checking out. Because we weren't getting, like, Ansem reports or anything. Hmm. I don't think there was anything super important in here, but... I'll double-check that as we go, just to make absolutely sure. But yeah, combat's a bit different, but it certainly does not look super different <laughs> to spectate. So, again, we are going to be cutting out most all of the me running around the worlds and fighting things. We will still do Disney trivia, but we're probably going to do that differently for this little uh, second half of the game as well, because, frankly, this will be our third time through some of the exact same Disney worlds again, and, like, it's, it's getting kind of boring for me finding more Disney trivia for the same uh, six or seven Disney worlds and Disney films, so instead, why don't we use this opportunity to uh, do some Disney trivia for some other films. Films that we won't be experiencing as much in this series, or may never experience in this series at all. Let's do that this time. So, whenever we get to our first Disney World, we'll start doing some Disney trivia about other stuff. That'll be fun. Alright, so now the only thing we can boost is his HP. So, uh, it looks like, I think my, I think my approach is gonna be, uh, level up, do a darkness boost whenever it allows me, an attack boost whenever it allows me, and if those two are unavailable, we'll just go with an HP boost. And now you know the full extent of my Riku character customization. Pretty simple, actually. Anyway, let's get to that first room, shall we? 
All right, we got ourselves the first story room here. What to get rid of? Something low value. Let's learn our lesson from previous run-throughs and not run ourselves out of high value cards. Yes. Everything's just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived here, tempted by the darkness she offered. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least they gave you a nice room. Stop talking! See, I kind of like this. We didn't really get to spend any time with Riku in Kingdom Hearts 1. And the only Riku we spent any time with in this one was a fake one that existed in this game for some reason. I... Like, I like that we're getting a better idea of not only, like, who Riku is, not as seen through Sora's eyes, but also, like, just we're getting a better idea of what was going on with him in the first game. I think that's neat. See, I can say nice things about Shane and Memories. <laughs> there is stuff to like here. Anyway, next room. Okie dokie, next room. Let's see... Anything green. What green card do I want the least? Uh... It seems the least useful. All right. No one here, either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Voice! I know you're watching, so explain this. Where are the people from my memories? Do you want to see them? Of course I do! But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world, and you passed through the door to darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything, all in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. And what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. It's empty. Like that room. Like your memories. That is why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow, except for the residual darkness. You're wrong. I rejected the darkness. <laughs> Did you really now? Let's make our way to a boss fight, shall we? All right, boss room. Let's see how this goes. Bigger than five. And the key card. Boom. Still got it. <laughs> Ah, oh, you again. I knew you would return, Riku. Maleficent, you're still alive? You haven't been paying attention. I'm but a figment of your memory. Of all the people I could run into, it had to be you. But of course, after all, your heart is steeped in darkness. You can only see those who exist in that same darkness. No! Be grateful you have someone to keep you company. Your heart is empty. 
Were it not for the darkness it contains, you would be completely alone. That's sounding pretty good right about now. Come now. You once turned to me to sate your hunger for darkness. You want me here. Who but I can grant you the darkness you long for? There was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to the dark. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out one by one. Then you mustn't forget to destroy yourself last. For, like me, you are one of the dark. That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that weakness. It's like I'm my own enemy. Write a song about it, man. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness enough to fight it. Oh, the agony you must feel. Then let me end your pain, Riku. End it forever. With the wondrous power of darkness. And we are doing this fight again. Carrie, feel free to speed this up a bit if you want. I mean, if we're just kind of doing the same boss fights over and over, I don't see any reason to do the full length battle. It's kind of nice not having to worry about deck building, at least. Just knowing that I have to win this with what I've got. But also knowing it's possible with what I've got. It has to be. There's literally no other option. Interrupts, Rigu. Get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. Hey, a platform. Nice. Almost. Almost. There we go. Delightful. Yay! Levels. And cards. So are these just, like, I can't build my decks anymore. Are these just automatically added? Because that'd be great. And I can boost my attack again. Hooray. And no cutscene to follow. Well then, let's just go through the next door, I guess. How do I... There we go. Yes. Nope. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's move on. I... Wait. Thought we were moving on. Now let's move on. I think this is the last room. I hope it is. Let's get some health, just in case we're in for a boss fight all of a sudden. I don't think we are, but... Can't be too careful. Oh, there's a save point right here. I guess I didn't have to, uh... <laughs> well, anyway. Let's see how it goes. Why do you shun the darkness? <laughs> Come on, I know you heard me. Every word I said to Maleficent. Darkness is your weapon. It is time you learned you must accept it. What do you mean? Stop resisting. Accept the darkness. You have no choice. Hello. If you are to serve me again. I thought it was you, Ansem. Oh, you don't seem surprised. All you have been talking about is the darkness. I can only assume you want to pull me back in so you can play puppet master. Clever boy. I knew you'd be the one to most appropriately serve me. And now, surrender to me again. You're crazy! 
Not a chance! Did you really think you could do me harm? A weakling like you couldn't even defeat Sora, and you had darkness on your side. Uh, oh. oh, excuse me for being weak. You are weak. You need darkness. Surrender. Bow to darkness. Bow to me. <sighs> That's not gonna happen. Only the darkness can offer to you all of the strength that you will need. You're wrong. Oh. I know that voice. That voice? Your Majesty? That's right. Remember, Riku, you're not alone. Listen close. The light will never give up on you. You'll always find it, even in the deepest darkness. I got it. I won't lose to darkness. Not today. You think that feeble little light can save you? From the darkness that I command? Ah, I miss Billy Zane already. Like, no disrespect to the actor who's had to fill his shoes and is, like, voicing Ansem here. Like, it, that's a tough role to have to step into, but, uh... Yeah, man. You shall feel the darkness everywhere. I mean, I can't do any better. <laughs> give me all you got. I'll give it right back. When Ansem shows his card, break it right away. Okay. Rapid break. Quickly break the opponent's card for a boost in attack. Huh. That's neat. That's new. Not giving up yet. I wonder how much of this you can take. I'm just going along till you give up. Show the same valued card as your opponent and press triangle. Huh. I'm trying. Oh. I don't... Oh, okay, this is interesting. Show the same valued card as your opponent's and press triangle. Okay. This is different and interesting. Okay. Okay. Another seven. Or... Does it have to be another seven, or does it just have to be something bigger? Ah. <sighs> okay. Break, break, break. Okay, so I just have to keep breaking them. And then a thing happens. Neat. The duel system. Show the same valued card as the opponents and press triangle to start. Break all the enemy's cards to execute a slate. Slate. Whatever but you will need more than eight cards. What? That all you got? It seems to me that you are intent on resisting the darkness. All right, then see it for yourself. Huh? This is a card crafted from your memory. Advance through the world it creates, and soon, you will understand. Chasing after light is not the way. It will not give you distance from the darkness. There is no running from the darkness. Don't worry, I'm not running. Give it. I'll enter the world, and in the end, if I haven't given in to the darkness, then I win. I have one more gift for you. What'd you do? I simply tempered the darkness that yet remains in your heart. You still think that I'd rely on darkness? To use it or not is your choice. I'll be waiting, Riku. 
for you to sense it and yield to the darkness in your heart. <laughs> D mode. All right, so dark mode can be activated when you have accumulated maximum dark points through card breaks. <laughs> I just love the idea of our anti-hero just accruing dark points. It's just so on brand. In dark mode, your skills are powered up and you have more slights to choose from. Dark point is lost when your card is broken or you receive damage. Rika returns to normal when your dark point reaches zero. Okay. So, so you can see, like, this is pretty different from uh, the way that Sora plays, which which is neat. Like, I appreciate that they're at least mixing it up a bit. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes in action. And here we go. Do we get one more nice little story bit in the next room before we continue? I hope so. Ooh, a new face. Don't I even warrant a hello, Lexius? What is going on here, Zaxian? I want an explanation. Nice to see you too, Vexen. It's such a shame. The organization used to be the rope that bound us together. You're only number six. How dare you? Let it go, Vexen. Zexion, tell us. What did you detect? Visitors. I picked up two scents in the castle's lowest basement. One of them was Maleficent. Don't be absurd. The witch is gone. She cannot return from the realm of darkness of her own volition. If you would let me finish, the scent belonged not to the real Maleficent, but to a very convincing double. But I truly cannot say much beyond that, since the double is no more. Our other visitor saw to that. And who is it? I do not know for sure. But the scent was very similar to that of the superior. And yet, not exactly the same, was it? This truly piques my curiosity. Now, what to do? We wait. See what develops. Something smells funny. What's that scent? It's so familiar. <gasps> darkness. It's the smell of darkness. <gasps> I can't believe this is happening. The darkness even seeped into my skin. Don't worry, Riku. <gasps> Your Majesty! Well... There he is. <laughs> uh, oh! What happened? I can see... right through you. Funny, huh? I can only send a bit of my power to this place. That's why I've got a request for you. Request? Listen, Riku. Just because darkness holds you, don't let go of who you are. You've got to fight the darkness inside you. It won't be easy to do, I know. But please don't forget, even in the darkest darkness, there's always a little bit of light. Light within darkness. You and I have seen it. The far welcoming light inside the door to darkness. The light of Kingdom Hearts, it will show you the way. Please don't give up. Believe in the light. 
That's a request from my heart. Okay. I'll do my best. Trust me. I'll try to find a way to reach you. I'll get there. I promise. Oh. You're an illusion. Don't worry. We shook hands in our hearts, remember? We're connected, you and me. Guess we are. These games are so ridiculous, and I love them. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are looking forward to this second journey through Castle Oblivion. Even more accelerated, I hope. Uh, but yeah, I will see you folks tomorrow for more of Riku's adventures. <laughs> anyway, you all have a good one. Goodbye! Ah, oh, he doesn't flip or anything. It's a bummer. <laughs>